What up, Black and Blue fan? Welcome to the Black and Blue Review. We break down the good, the bad, and the ugly of police interaction videos to give you a better understanding of what cops do or what they should be doing out there on the streets. My name is Dale, and I'm an actual police officer out here in California with over 25 years experience in the business. I'm joined today like I am on every Black and Blue Review by a non-law enforcement member of the community to help us break down today's video. So Black and Blue fam, help me welcome to the review, my guy, Alan. <laughs> What's going I on, fam? Up. Not much, man. I'm liking the applause, though. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, we got we got to get some fanfare for you here on the Black and Blue review. <laughs> What's good with you, man? Oh, man, just enjoying this Florida life, that's for sure. Not enjoying the heat, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh well you know that's how it is the, the heat and humidity the heat and yeah. humidity it ain't lying. But, it, it, but it's good for the skin though, right don't crack don't crack <laughs> <laughs> hey bro hey man i appreciate you coming on to this to the show for a second time you are a returning guest here and i appreciate yeah. you and uh we are gonna i'm gonna show you a video here and get your reaction today's video okay. comes to us from uh fort walton beach florida you know where that is Oh, yeah. And I heard about this story, too. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Good, good, good. Yeah. So this is a, a deputy that mistakes a falling acorn for gunfire. I'm going to show you uh, some some uh, body cam footage of the incident before and, and during all that. And then uh, we'll get your reaction. So let's uh, check this out. My car back. I've been asking all night. Can I get my car back? Like, I don't care about the argument. I don't care about... I don't even know what the argument is about. I just want my car okay so apparently the uh young lady there is calling on her boyfriend ex-boyfriend for taking uh, her car or something like that after they broke up so okay. police are there and now they're uh, they're talking to him detain him please if you want to go ahead and transport him i'll stay here and get the affidavit Just fire! Just fire! Just fire! What? <laughs> I'm hit! I'm hit! What? I'm hit! 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 Yeah, you see him rolling around on the ground and everything. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This, <laughs> did he just say I'm hit? Yeah. I might have hit my vest. Might have hit my vest. What the? You've got to be kidding me, man. Oh, so got the... uh, right there. Dude, am I hit? Do you know your tag number off the top of your head? Okay. It's okay. Okay. Two. So this is his partner's what? What? The one who's taking the report. Wait, right there. So she hears him say that. So who is she firing at? Jesse! Um, Jesse, are you okay? The police car. Get in the house! Get in the house! Jesse! Get back, get back! Where is he? Where is he? Forty-three, give me traffic. Shots fired. Shots fired. I got a deputy down. I need EMS on standby. Suspect is going to be in the vehicle. Bruh. Where are you hit? Where are you hit? No. Get back. No. Get back. All right. So, um, <laughs> seeing I'm all that, what, what's your what's your re initial reaction there? Like I'm watching the NBA, man. When it fouls, it's a, you know they. They kind of exaggerate the fall. <laughs> this man rolls. <laughs> I almost don't have words for this, man. And if it was an acorn that fell, this man shot fire. I don't know how many shots at something, and then said he was hit. I I, I don't know what else to say, but <laughs> yeah. Like I said, I've only heard of this story. This is my first time actually seeing the uh, the body cam footage. I don't, what do you say to that? And you know what? 
What did he, what, what kind of police report did he fill out? <laughs> well, there, there, there's nothing to fill out there. It was all out there. Um, so he, he was suffering from some sort of PTSD or something like that. I don't know his story if he was in the military and, and something like that. Uh, you know, let me, let me show you that, you know, exactly what he thought he, he saw there. Let's bring this okay. back up. Okay. And, uh, so here's a, here's a slow motion of it. Let's check this out. All right. So we got acorn. I got pointed out there with the arrow. Uh-huh. Acorn falls on the hood of the car. Just fire! Just fire! Yeah. And this man does the crawl. I remember doing crawl. that in the military. <laughs> yeah. So we'll watch oh. it again full screen. Acorn. It's the roof of the car. All I can say is hats off to whoever the videographer was who, who caught that when they reviewed the body cam footage. Because my issue is, what if he wasn't turned towards that? What, what if that wasn't the angle and we right. never saw the acorn? Who knows right. what would happened then? Well, that was his own body cam. That was, that was his, his own his body own, cam. That was his own body cam. He was walking up towards the police car where he already had the dude in the back. And mm-hmm. the thing is, he, he was shooting at the police car at the sheriff's unit and the guy that they arrested was in the back of it. And he's saying that he was shooting out of the car towards really? the deputies. Yeah. Isn't that glass bulletproof? No, no. it's not. No, not Ooh. the glass. The, uh, Oh, it'll be too heavy, but some, the doors are ballistic panels. Okay. So they can, they can withstand, you know, a certain amount of gunfire, but, um, oh, okay, okay. the windows, no, cause they'd be too thick to really drive through to, to be driving. So, I mean, but what, yeah. would have, what would have happened if his body cam hadn't have caught that acorn? Because he said that was his body cam footage that caught his, that acorn. His own right? body cam that caught the, the acorn. Yeah, uh, what, what some, if he somebody wasn't... Somebody reviewing it, yeah. What if he wasn't turned that direction when it happened? Right. And he still did the same thing, and we had no clue that it was an acorn. Man, that could have ended all over an acorn. And that could have ended up dead. Yeah. And with all that gunfire... um. The guy that was in the back, you know, thank goodness he wasn't even hit. Thank God. Ah. Yeah, yeah, he he's, he was in the back. He he ducked down, and you you, you can imagine what was going yeah. through his mind. It's like, what the what the hell's going on now? I mean, trying I guess to kill the, me. Yeah, I mean, the, the kill worst me. part. Yeah, and I think the worst part about it is we know it was an acorn. Like, if if the caption didn't say "falling acorn." Then me watching that footage, I think I'd have been more in shock that maybe maybe this dude was being shot at. But when you know the context and you watch this video again, it just looks I can't even say funny, but it's funny that this dude is going through all the theatrics of getting hit by gunfire and everything. And it was an acorn. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Yep. Said, <laughs> he said everything. It, it may have hit the back of my vest. All that. He was reliving all that war time. <laughs> that's, yeah. yeah, that's that, that's sad. I mean, because I like again, I said I don't I don't know his story. Uh, mm-hmm. You were in the military, so you know during the the Desert Storm and all that. So um, you know you can attest to that. But I, I don't I don't know what his story was. But something something set him off. Oh, it set him off big time. Like I said, he did that same crawl. I mean, that's that's military training right there. That's goodness. Well, it, it looked like a little bit more than military. I mean, he was laid out. He lay, had his had his gun laid out on the ground. It never, never relinquish your weapon, first of all. <laughs> and he was like laying out, like you know, one thing they teach us, you know, during the academy and, and training and all that, you know, mm-hmm. uh, continual training is will to survive. If you think yeah. you're gonna die, you're gonna die. So, yeah. and that's what you know when you really when you really shot. You know, okay. Yeah. Think, yeah. Think, mm-hmm. Yeah. Think that you're going to fight through it, that you were going to survive, do what you got to do to get through the situation and uh-huh. you will survive. He, this man here wasn't even hit. And he's like, he giving up. He's like, oh man, I'm, I'm just hit. Oh, Lord, take me. So I'm thinking drama club was in there somewhere. <laughs> Good Lord. Yeah. I mean, it's, 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 it's sad. You know, we don't want to, you know, make, make fun of, dude for doing what he did but you know he, he's put a black eye on on his whole profession just yeah. doing stuff like that so now is yeah. there any 
is there anything was there anything released about what happened to this guy afterwards or that's he, still he did resign he did resign um the, the sheriff of that county i think it's okaloosa county or something like that where, where is that right. from florida it's, where, where it's is florida. that from it's south right. florida is that north florida um, or where is that it, that sounds more like west i might be wrong but it sounds usually when you start talking about especially those real indian names that's an indian name it sounds like right. it's more west so okay. yeah it might be southwest yeah, so that sheriff released a statement saying that, you know, it was uncalled for and everybody's been traumatized. The the dude in the back seat saying, you know, he was traumatized. He don't know how he's going to yeah. get through now because, I mean, I, you can imagine. I mean, <laughs> had been like, what, 20, 30 rounds? Yeah, and you knowing know? you're the suspect, <laughs> that right there, man, I'm surprised right. he didn't pass out himself. <laughs> yeah, he's like, Damn. you know, all I, all I did, if he did it, you know, allegedly, it, all I did man. was take my ex-girlfriend's car and they tried to kill me for it, so. Rough. Yeah. That's rough. Yeah. Yep. Ah. So, hey, man, um, be, beware your surroundings. You know, you got falling acorns and pine cones and all that. Don't, <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't just lay out and die. Don't just lay out and die. Just don't he did, lay but out and die. he arranged his gun almost like, that's how they going to find me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, damn, shame. damn shame. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Hey brother, hey man, I appreciate you uh, reviewing this this video with me. Uh, as comical and as uh, enlightening as it was. Yes, it is. Yeah. 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 All right. Hey man, you, you you try to stay cool out there in that Florida humidity. And uh, hey man, like I said, get you get you all moisturized up so you ain't ash. <laughs> we can't have that. We definitely can't get can your elbows. <laughs> <laughs> all right, player man, I, I appreciate you. Thank you. All right, take it easy, brother. I see you. I know. Thank you.